now available on Tata Sky channel number 526. Straight to our top story, the Real Estate Regulation and Development Bill has become an act. The centre has notified 69 of the 92 sections in the act and these sections will now empower states to set up their respective regulators, appellate tribunal and an adjudicating officer. All states have been given six months to do so, which means a year from today, every home buyer will have a regulator to look out for them. My colleague Deepa Rana joins us uh, with uh, more details about this uh, game-changing law. Deepa, tell us more. The Real Estate Regulatory Act has been notified on May 1, 2016. Now the regulatory body is going to be set up within a period of six months and tribunals in the respective states are going to be set up within a period of, a period of one year, which means that April 30, 2017 is the deadline uh, in which every state needs to have a regulatory body set up. Another important thing is that the HUPA secretary is going to serve as an interim uh, head right now. So the housing ministry's uh, Secretary Ms. Nandita Chatterjee can serve as the uh, as an interim head. Another important thing is that once the tribunals are set up, they are going to decide on disputes and resolve disputes between the developers and the home buyers within a period of 60 days, which means that the complaints are going to be fast tracked. For now, the Housing Ministry is working on 22 other sections uh, which are uh, still under process, and uh, they are basically about the responsibilities and the penalties which are going to be uh, there and the punishments which are going to be decided. Deeparana, they are getting us uh, that report on the game-changing law that is set to change the future of home bars in the country. Thank you so much uh, for that report. Now, Deepa also caught up with uh, Naveen Raheja, Chairman and Managing Director of uh, Raheja Developers, and asked him how the implementation of RERA will help home homebuyers and will RERA have an impact on errant developers. Listen in. This is a good step. This was long pending since last over 10 years from the time the discussion started on uh, RERA. And uh, since now it has uh, seen the light of the day from today. It's a, I think it's a good day and uh, good for customers. Maybe for, uh, good for some of the developers who really mean business. The state governments are supposed to make this uh, regulatory body, they are supposed to report to the regulatory body within a period of six months to one year. And some of the buyers are also saying that the existing projects should be included into the real estate bill. Now that's a state subject. So what do you think should be done? See, one thing is there, you know, this bill has not been fully notified today. Some of the sections are left out. The main sections which have been notified is actually to match up with the time gap. So right now it is for formation of authority within six months and uh, formation of all the rules, etc. And putting the system in place, putting the infrastructure in place and also putting the appellate tribunal also. So what would you want to say to the errant builders? Lots of complaints in particularly the Delhi NCR region buyers are protesting over and over again in, in terms of delays. And uh, later on, what do you think that uh, the buyers, uh, to the home buyers, what would you want to say? See, till about six years ago, the projects all over India were getting delivered on time. Everything was in place. Everyone was happy with real estate. What went wrong that, you know, even the best of the developers are not able to deliver projects on time and nobody is able to complete projects. Infrastructure is not in place. Just, you know, tightening the news around developers, is it going to deliver projects? No. The issues are much larger. Now, we're also being joined on the phone line by Om Ahujo of the Brigade Group, in fact, CEO Residential Brigade Group uh, on this big story. Om, thank you so much for taking time to be this year on the Property News and Magic Picks. Now, tell us, uh, Landmark Day, as far as home buyers are concerned, uh, uh, from the industry, you know, what do you feel at this point in time? It's a great uh, initiative, I would say, the NDA government has taken in terms of building a lot of confidence into the industry. Hmm. This industry in the current state of affairs would have continued, uh, but there was lack of confidence not only from the buyer, but also lack of confidence from the investor, as well as, as, well as the FDI investor who was looking at this industry as a growth industry. With this bill, I guess there will be a lot of confidence for uh, people who are looking to buy a home and not get cheated uh, from uh, developers who basically take them for a ride. 
and uh, this is a great initiative not only for home buyers but also for the industry to raise more funds and get more fdi investments ask you specifically in terms of how prepared is the indian real estate industry for something like this especially considering the 70% escrow clause that exists uh, as part of the rera uh, bill well i would say a lot of developers in uh, southern part of india uh, are fully compliant uh, on the on the rera norms when it comes to basically implementation this is not happening uh, in some parts of india but southern india uh, there are a lot of compliant developers and a lot of reputed developers who will see the uh, growth happening much more faster and uh, i think that norms in rera which are specified are uh, fully compliant to a great extent in southern part of india also om do you see developers you know rushing to finish projects uh, before uh, rera kicks in officially well i would say at this point of time uh, the timelines what come in are uh, respected and in, in in specifically in cities like bangalore or uh, chennai or hyderabad the timelines what are mentioned uh, they were happening from the reputed developers already uh, there was uh, there was a norm which basically was not floated floated as what was happening in some parts of india i don't think there is a rush or there's madness at this point of time to uh, comply because we were already compliant right and uh, one last thing tell us uh, i know how will this impact uh, launches uh, you know new launches going forward and more importantly uh, prices uh, in the short term i would say uh, there would be little bit of turbulence in terms of industry when it comes to pre launches uh, there will be a lot of clean up which will happen where a lot of developers is to do a pre launch or a launch and raise funds which were never never the projects never saw, saw the, the light of the day i think that uh, thing will stop there will be cleaner and larger developers and specifically the uh, the compliant developers will be launching projects with all approvals and that's a very good thing for a home buyer because a lot of home buyers were cheated on this front i think that's a big initiative of this rera bill and keeping in mind that temporary turbulence will primarily be with regard to there will be lesser number of new launches lesser number of uh, uh, compliant developers uh so there will be only few players in the market stronger will get stronger and that will basically be good for the industry in the long term in the short term yes there would be uh, not too many new projects launches and that will lead to a little bit of surge in prices om mahuja of the brigad group uh, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here on the property news on uh, magic bricks now meanwhile we also caught up with some mumbaikers and asked them what they think of rera will rera improve their home buying experience listening to what they had to say I think it's a good move by the government. Uh I think the uh, buyer should be compensated for the delays and other thing because I see a lot of delay happening in especially in Mumbai with respect to builders. And also in the handing over of the society there there is a huge huge delay in that also. So overall I haven't gone through that bill as such per se but I think it's a good move. No pass ho jata hai to sabke liye jo aam people hai jo log hai unke liye acha hoga kyunki hum bhi agar koi building banti hai to wo bolte hai ki uh जो 20 परसेंट है वो आप पहले भर दो फिर वो तीन साल लगाते हैं चार साल लगाते हैं कभी कभी बनता भी नहीं है दस साल भी लगते हैं तो क्या हमारा पैसा तो उसमें लगा ही हुआ ही है हम फिर बिल्डर के लोग वहाँ ऑफिस में जाके चक्कर लगाते हैं कि भाई कभी बनेगा क्या होगा क्या होगा इससे क्या है कि हमारा नुकसान है हम तो जानते हैं कि हम कभी हमने सपनों का हमने घर लिया हुआ है अपना खुद का कभी बनेगा कभी कभी उसके चक्कर में हमारा दस साल निकल जाता है अगर ये लो बनता है तो जो आम जनता होती है उनके लिए बेटर there was lot of fraud going on and this regulatory body will help out to all the people uh this is very helpful to all the people fraud will not be there at all this this will be the regulated by the body if it comes into the picture earlier what will what was happening is builder used to sell the properties to many people we we common people doesn't know what exactly is happening what the land is so this is very helpful to the common people you you pass how many ever bills the person t- unless and until he does not want to change he can't change because uh, bills like there are so many bills been passed but it's like people people have become so smart that from any kind of bill they can cheat you can watch live tv on our website mpnow.in find us on facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now and don't forget to click the like button You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/magicbricksnow.